Okay, what I got here for you is a really nice 1977 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Brome with the T-tops. Ooh, man, does this thing look nice with them weeping grills and chrome on the side of the T-tops you can see there. Let me give you a kind of an up look there. I'm going to hole below it kind of and harder to get you a good look at the top. I'll get up close. I'm going to do kind of a once around like I always do on these. Make sure and add me if you're looking for any kind of classics, especially 70s and 80s stuff. American, Buick, Olds, Pontiac. Love the Pontiacs. Got a lot of Mercedes and Euros too. I get one and two owner cars and nice clean low mile stuff and nice good running projects. This car, somebody's put new paint. <clears throat> Very nice with like a mother of pearl in it. Man, I'm sorry about the wind today. I think it's going to create a little bit of an issue. I'm trying to cover this thing a little while I walk. I'm sure that's going to make it a little bouncier. But, I'm going to go up close and show you any minor flaws. My name's Nathan. It's 406 544 69 one nine. You can reach me anytime. And um, my website, www.serialmarshmallows.com. And click on blog when you get there. You can also go to www.missoulaautoauction.com. M I S S O U L A autoauction.com. Beautiful 20 inch wire wheels with the knockoffs, chrome little nubs. The tires are just like new. Falcons with like little titties all over the side. Inner fender wells are beautiful. Underneath the car, just as clean as it gets. And chrome's in great condition. A little bit of just fading or just from polishing it there. I don't know if you can see that. It turns a little gold around the edges. A little dress thing starting in a little just older chrome but it looks great a little scratch there hope you can see that and the, this black stuff's in great shape with the factory white lines and that's cool um, there's a little bit of rub right there below that side you can see along there and this piece like this is missing here and yeah that was chewed up right there just a little bit Chrome looks great across the front, the grills, the headlight surrounds. Nice going across the hood. These little pegs in here probably should be adjusted a little bit. Bring it up maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Maybe a little bit of adjustment on the back here to make that pop down. It's in great shape. California car, that's the worst of any corrosion. It's not all fillered out. This thing's clean and it's not a leaker. I'm sure you'll find a they have gasket on it somewhere, but as you can see there, it's just as clean as it gets. I love these California cars too, just not rusty. Little chips right here. And as far as dings, they seem to have fixed anything like that. I'm sure you find something somewhere. I don't know if there's a surround for these. I think they're supposed to be. And the logo's missing right there. It's got these. I'll show you these wheels in a different sunlight type thing too. They look great with the knockoffs on there. Back package trays in good condition, but the netting as you can see over the speaker there is going a bit. I don't know if it's called netting. This piece here is loose and this piece is missing. And you can get them on eBay for a couple bucks. Same as the reverse light surrounds or reverse light lenses. And these lenses are in great shape. A little bit of overspray in spots where a guy could just chip that right off the chrome. I'm not even showing you the right spot. There we go. But that's little things like that. See that come right off there. But there's a couple little spots like that. Oh, these pieces are... Yeah, it's that plastic. It's gone on both sides. Just like a Cadillac, how they get. Or Pontiac. So that'll need replaced. You can them are readily available. 
around the back of the round around the window looks great and I love these curved windows on these things. Once again logo on this side to emblem. Don't know about the surrounds. The sweeps are in pretty good shape but you can see it kind of lost it on this end so you wanted it to be perfect. If you want to be a show car, it's not a show car, but I'll tell you what, it looks good and it drives around great. T-tops are in great shape. A little scuff on that one. And coming down this side, straight, nice, clean. And I'm going to go ahead and take you on a test drive. <clears throat> I'll go up and show you the insides up in a different lighting. And um, yeah, give me a call with any questions. I will help you export this out of our country, import it right into your country. Not a problem, we do it all the time. Um, and I get really reasonable rates. Or I'll work with anybody you get at no charge. See, so sweep on that side just lost a little piece right there. I'll show you all this when we get up there. My backpack back here. These doors, as they get older, the guy's got some tape on that thing there. He needs to have the pin put, the tool put in and have it adjusted a little bit <clears throat> to where it helps pick up these heavy doors, especially when you're sitting on a little bit of a hill. Okay, let me get this thing wrapped around my hand here. Find my keys. Bam. Okay. Orange dash, really cool. Thing starts up and runs great. Mirror's got a little discoloration on it. ballsy I don't want to get on it too much here <clears throat> it gets you right up to 40 in no time flat now due to the size and everything of the wheels your um, speedometer is a little bit off and that is about the worst of there's a couple little rattles in the dash and it should be I'll show you the dash a little bit closer up here in a second they had it wired up for a radio in the glove box, and I'll show you that. An aftermarket CD player could just plug and play. Turns on a dime. That's just right up to speed right now. Shifts great, runs great, steers great. The steering wheel's off a notch, as you can see there. And I was told that they, they thought this guy had an aftermarket steering wheel on it and took it off. So I'm not 100% sure on that. I just know that this is the one I have. Mornings, it's a little cold-hearted. And when you first start running, like any older carbureted type deal, oh man, it's just so nice rolling up. Okay, that'll get us showing that really good. As far as your interior options go, I want to mention this too. When you turn a key off, sometimes if you take it out, this piece is loose and will come off. So I don't know if you can get that back in there. and that It'll stay on there. The doggy is free with the car. It's not Yo Quiero Taco Bell, but he's a cool dog, no less. And this radio is not plugged in and stuff to everything because they've got this one here set to wire in to whatever you put. And this, it could use a little adjustment. 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 Um, your control for the AC and the heater needs some work on that. i pop the hood for you. Pedal wear is not a lot of pedal wear. It's in great condition. Now the carpets. I want to talk to you about the interior. A guy should order door panels. Um, they have them online, readily available. You can find them on Google. Um, and I've found them on eBay, too. Um, the seats, they're not in really bad shape underneath it. But just for the type of car it is, this is the worst seat, as you can see. And my guy will redo the interior. Anything you want. Vinyl. You could have the stripes going like this. And do an orange one and a white one. and a, I don't know what you want to do. You Orange, white, orange, white, orange, white. Blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. You got kind of snow white. You can do snow white. You got a little crack here, a little crack there. But with this orange dash, the combinations you could put on this interior are 
limitless. So I chose not to do the interior to where I could leave that choice for whoever had it. Door panels are two to three hundred bucks on the internet. Now my guy will do the carpet, the seats, everything. He'll put the headliner in, make it all good. You'll just have to get door panels because it would just be better to get them factory ones like that. But he'll do everything for, um, I believe it was seven fifty to eight hundred and a quarter. So that's really good deal. And he's really good, really good work. And I will hook that up and make that happen for you, no problem. And the thing, it deserves carpets. It's not all rusted out underneath or stuff. It's clean. I wanted to do it, but I just, I don't want to pick the color of this thing. You need to pick the color. Tees are in great shape. Um, I'm going to have Matt help me take this off while I show you the engine in the trunk. And then I'll just stack them right over here, maybe, Matt, and I'll show them. Yeah. Still got the speckle paint in the trunk and all. Oh man, it's in great shape. Jack there. So you got all that stuff. And the only thing for corrosion back here is like I had there was a star wrench and a hubcap type thing sitting back here. And the wrench for the wheels, the knockoff wrench. And it kind of left those marks. And but the oh the seal here. I'm all happy when I find damage. I want to show you. Man, they should have replaced that. I mean the paint's beautiful. I'm gonna try and show you this mother of pearl in it. Don't know if you're going to be able to see that in the different lighting. It is HD, but it's kind of hard to see on a camera, I know. This is my second video. I might include them both on the ad. These gold nubs on here are awesome. <clears throat> and that's an extra 100 to 150 per wheel, I believe, to have them pull everything off and then anodize them gold and put everything all back together. So, very cool if you want gold on your wheels. It's not a cheap process to have gold and chrome. It's a good original shaped car that someone fixed up a little and didn't keep going. Probably ran out of money. Interior lights work and all. It's in great shape. And then if you back it up and kind of roll the windows down. Under here it's clean. Clean. This thing will only go up in value. Really easy to work on with a Chilton's or a Haynes manual. Good runner. Patina type corrosion on that. Should be sanded down and sprayed black or something. AC Delco battery. Yeah, baby. GM all the way. Okay. And that's it. Cut it off. That's under the hood. And I'll get a little closer here since we're outside. You can see it's all factory and all. Great shape. By factory, I mean nobody's hacked it all up and changed stuff. Here's your tees off. Great shape. And here's a little bit of the car without them on it. It's a great look with them off. Yeah, man. That interior, that's why the interior just looks so damn good. Have it, just set it off having that done. So that's pretty much the car. My name's Nathan. 406-544-6919. And you can reach me anytime. Call till two in the morning San Diego time. I don't care, I'm always up answering calls from Europe and answering emails and stuff. So you're more than welcome to call anytime. If I don't answer, leave a message. I'll get back to you. Beautiful car. And of course, we're not in the sunlight to do that. I gotta turn this thing a little bit for you. Oh, these speaker grills are raised up. He had Kenwood speakers, but they're older in there, kind of sun-dried. You'll have to replace the speakers, but they'd fit a lot better in there if it was factory speakers and such. They seem to go down pretty dang flush, but the speakers hold them up a bit. 
Um, oh, you're missing that piece right there. And you don't want to yank on this piece because it needs a bolt re done there. So little things, super clean. The hard stuff like the paint's done. Got that in the sun a little bit more for you. And that's about it. Once again, my name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. www.cerealmarshmallows.com And man, this is a clean classic 350. These things will only go up in value. Cheap to work on, easy to work on, and styling. And these Falcon tires, I'll tell you what, there's $1,500, $1,800 worth of tires and wheels on this car. And they've got little titties on the side. They can't have more than 500 to 1,000 miles on them. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And that's it. I got my camera up too high to see how to turn it off. Thanks for watching.